Welcome to the Money Watch Show. It is Thursday, May 16th, and we are here trying to help you make better financial decisions. If you've got a question, what we would love for you to do or anything going on in your financial life, we would love for you to go to our website. That website is jillonmoney.com, jillonmoney.com. And in the upper right-hand corner, there is a little contact us button. And when you click it, it pops up a form. Amazing. That form is essentially your email to us. Now, if you if you're really shy, okay, it we get it. It, it. There are some of you. We'll do your email. We have email shows. But if you join us on the program live, it, it does. I think it's a much richer experience. That's just my two cents. I think that we get to ask more nosy follow up questions. It's better for for you guys. So how about that? So if you want to just hop on that website, there's a lot of fun things there. There's the newsletter there. We've got my book, The Great Money Reset. That is, you know, essentially the, you know, gives you a little bit of a background of how you think about big changes in your life. And uh, anyway, we also got a YouTube show, all sorts of stuff. You know who my co-host is? He is Mark Talercio, the co-host, the executive producer, and the king of all things web. Hello, Mark. Hello, Jill. I have a question for you. Um, before we started recording, you were talking about how your 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 long legs often cause problems when you're yes. you know sitting in the, the theater or yes. on an airplane. Do you think it would be a waste of money for us to fly? business class with the five-year-old? Well, if, if I'm spending your money, of course, I think it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> this is the this is the debate that we're currently having. Because, you know, when we just flew to London, you know, of course, Amanda, Amanda went for work. So she was sitting up in business class. Right. Theo and I were back in economy. Um, so listen, I... I have a hard time with this because I do have long legs. And so I feel like it is... It's a drag for me. It's a real, real drag for me to have to kind of contend with how how uncomfortable I am in an airplane. Are you uncomfortable? Like, where do you, like, how do you feel? Well, you know, anytime we fly overseas, it's a night flight. So, you know, we just, uh, I mean, am I uncomfortable? No. Is it fun? No. No one gets any sleep. You know, no one sleeps. So I'm just okay. thinking if we were in business class and, you know, Theo could actually lay down or I could lay down, we would actually sleep. Someone said, when you fly business class, like your vacation starts on the plane. That is probably true. That is probably true. Um, but I guess the other thing is to imagine this, that, you know, how much, what's the price differential? Let's really talk about this in terms of probably, you know what I, mean? I would say the difference is probably three to four thousand. Mm. Mm. I'm I'm thinking. <sighs> is that three or four thousand gonna make or break our financial future? No. No. I mean, but it's a it's that's real money. I know, I know. Hmm. It's a I don't know. Call. I don't know. I mean, for me, it's impossible. I can't even like I guess it feels indulgent for a kid. But I, on the other I hand, know. you can't make the kid fly in coach right. by himself. I will not buy Theo. Good luck. The stewardess is gonna take care of you. I don't think that'd work. Or do we or do we buy two business and one sits going and one sits coming? Hmm. But then Theo's know. in the economy the whole time. I wanna bring our guest in. I'm gonna have her make the call because she has kids. So I'm gonna be a little bit more I'm gonna say yes because I'm happy to spend your money and I know how much money you have. But um, let's bring our caller in. This is Esther, who's on the line from California. Esther, what do you think? Am I being, is that a, is that a crazy thing? You have kids. Do you fly with them? Yeah, uh, you're talking to the wrong person. We're always in like one, uh, either the last row or like the next to the last row. <laughs> <laughs> is it, is it totally like, like, is it wasteful? Yes. Is it like, but if it didn't change your life, would it just like, if you had the money, would you like, if you were like, yeah, I'm doing that no matter what. Yeah. In fact, my, uh, my husband just told me last week that when we go on our next vacation, we, you know, given, given the age that we're at now, he thinks that we can splurge and uh, get seats kind of in the middle or the front of the plane, not 
business or first, but I think a lot of it has to do with that he has a lot of anxiety when flying. And mm. uh, oh wait, that's the different. Plane is always super bumpy. <laughs> yeah, I, I okay. If that's the case, though, come on, like that, I would feel like I have to do that. If he has anxiety, that's no good. I don't know. All right, Esther. Thank you for that. Uh, let's just talk to you and find out what the heck is going on for you. What what can we do for you now that we've got Mark's situation? <laughs> well, first, thank you for taking my call. Of course. Uh, I was wondering um, if we could take our foot off the gas a little bit with regards to savings for retirement and just savings in general. Ideally, I'd like to splurge and build a pool in our backyard. Mm. Um, so... We're having a little bit of a debate about that in our house. Thought it would be good to bring in a third party to uh, either put this to bed or give us the green light. Uh, but also just wanted to get your opinion to make sure that we are on track financially for a secure future. I think we would be delighted to do that. Um, so why don't you tell us a little bit about what's going on for you? You guys are both working, one working. What's happening? Yes, we both work full time. And I would say our uh, I don't want to jinx anything, but oh, I would say that our, our jobs are relatively stable. Okay. okay, that's great. So um, when we're looking at this scenario, tell us a little bit about what you've been doing now in terms of your, you know, like in your saving and investing, et cetera. Sure. Well, I would say the bulk of our savings uh, are in um, retirement funds and our 401ks, and we have, uh, I think, 1.4 in 401ks. And then we have about 120000 in after-tax. However, 40 of that is in a Roth IRA, which we've also designated as a college fund for our daughter. We had kids a little bit later in life, so we will be able to take money out of that uh, for mm. college if needed mm -hmm. without any penalties or taxes. Okay, that seems okay. Do you feel like... I don't know, like now I'm sort of saying I'm laughing because I'm thinking about your poor husband who has to sit in the back of the plane. Do you feel like um, do you feel like comfortable with where you are right now? I do feel comfortable with where we are, but I will say that, you know, we we make a good amount of money and once taxes and retirement and all of the other deductions are taken out, we basically get half of that. And, uh, and I, I would say we spend every penny, each pay period. So although we are saving, I would say roughly around 2500 a month, maybe a little bit more, um, it still feels like we're living paycheck to paycheck. Mm. Mm. But you're, I mean, like you're living paycheck to paycheck, but you're saving money. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's, it's just because you've set that up. What are the incomes? Um, to combined, it's 220 I mean, you're in a high tax state. And you're saving a lot of money. Are you both maxing out retirement right now? I'd say we're at um, maybe 15%. Mm, that's pretty good. I mean, they got a lot of money, Mark. How old are you both? Um, we're both 50. 50. Just one kid? Yeah, one kid. She's almost 11. I feel like they can do this. Let me just think about this. I mean, worst case scenario is, yeah, they can do it. Maybe they you know, they pause their savings for a That's year. That's what I'm thinking. How much does a pool cost? I think it's roughly going to be between sixty and 80000 And I was planning on uh, taking out a loan for it. Figured the monthly expense for that, along with the maintenance, would be about $1,000. So I thought maybe we could take our foot off the gas a bit and take 1000 out of that 2500 and put it towards the pool. I mean, I see us being in the house for a while uh, it is Southern California, so you know it would be nice to have one in the backyard. I will say though, we do have a community pool, and so that's where. Oh yeah, uh, so you're, yeah like, that's that's you're not winning any fans with that with uh, Jill, but except that your kid probably has friends there. Um, we all prefer the privacy of our own home. Okay, 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 okay. There's no so, money outside of retirement. Is, did you have do you have after tax money either in savings or investments right now? We do. So there's about, uh, as I think I mentioned, 120,000. 40 of that is in a Roth IRA. So 80,000 is in primarily in investments and, you know, index funds. And Can we just sell that and pay for the pool? 
we could, but then we're kind of like starting at ground zero. Okay, and well, I, but then you but take, wait a second. You take what you would be paying towards the loan and just build it back up. Exactly. That's what I'm thinking. Wait, is that 80 your emergency reserve fund, though? I don't want to drain that. I wouldn't say that it's our emergency fund. I mean, we we don't have much in the emergency fund. That is probably about 10000 you know. Uh, so I, we, but that is really your emergency fund. Yeah, right? yeah. And so if we had to borrow, let me ask you something. You said that you are in very good situation work-wise, right? Like yes. you feel comfortable and you said you feel secure, right? Yes, Mark, what do you think about a 401k loan instead of doing a home loan, which is going to be expensive as heck right now? Like, let's say, okay, we got 80 grand that's in investments, which I don't know. How did you get that money? You were like, did you have, is this from a long time ago or is this like uh, recent or is this an accumulation? Like how, how, how did the 80, the 120 in the, I, I'm, I'm saying 120, it's really not 120 because 40 is in the Roth. We're not touching it, but the 80 <clears throat> Where did that come from? That's just an accumulation over time. Okay. So I presume that there are low basis stocks in there. You'd have to pay some taxes. But what would mm-hmm. happen if if we look at your spending right now? I really probably only want to, I would only want to use half of it. So let's say we use 40 grand of your investments. You sell it out. You can leave the rest fine. And then I think you should talk to each of the employers and find out what are the rules around and what is the interest rate for a 401k loan. And then I think we compare it to a loan for the for this construction of the pool. By the way, 60 to 80 grand. I don't think so. I think you're I I think you better plan on 100 grand because every time a project gets quoted, it Mm -hmm. it zooms up by 20 percent quickly. So let's presume it's $100,000 that you'll take a portion. You'll be able to get this thing started, rock and roll, and maybe the 401k loan is a better way to go because I feel like you're going to pay it back. It's going to be efficient, and I think it's going to be cheaper. Have you looked into home loans right now, like a home equity line of credit? Yeah, the loan, um, the interest rate was high. It was about 8.4, and that seemed to be the lowest. 8.4. Okay. Um, So here's your choices. I think you can do this. I mean, listen, you're going to work for a while. You got a you got a young kid. She's 11 years old. Like you're going to keep working, right? Yes. Okay. The one reason why I like the idea of the 401k is because I just know it will not get out of hand and it'll just get paid back. And you got a lot of money that is tied up in your retirement accounts. How do you feel about that, Esther from California? Strange. I've always been under the impression that you should leave your 401k alone. So I know. I do too, but it's like really it's, it's yeah. just a loan is a loan. We're just looking at your balance sheet, right? We're saying where's the asset and where's the loan against the asset. How much is your house worth? Uh, about a million. What's the outstanding mortgage on it right now? Um, about four fifty. I mean, if we presume that interest rates, I mean, we are probably at peak interest rate for home loans right now. Okay, but they're mm-hmm. not going to come down that fast, so. I don't know. There's like an efficiency. Let's. Just, how about this? How about you and I make a pinky swear? Check out both of those loan rates, okay? And okay. we'll decide. And when you send us an email back, we will be. We will absolutely give you our opinion about which one you should do. But what about a, what about a one of these personal loans? You think they're any better? And I don't think they're any better right now. That's the problem. I think you're better off with a four hundred one k loan. But I will say this. I think that can you cut the the quintessential like. Can we do this? Yes. Can you take your gas off the pedal for like two years while you're doing this? Yes, of course you can. But, you know, you got a pinky swear with us that you're going to come back and get back into that car and like resume. Right. Mm -hmm. And rebuild and keep doing what you're doing. And I think that, you know, given your age and the fact that you're both well employed you know, I don't think this is going to be a problem. And I, and I'm very much into the idea that like, Hey, this would make our lives better for like the next 10 years that we, you know, have the kid at home, but also that you guys will enjoy it and that it'll be a fun thing. Like, I don't feel like you should, you know, you make a lot of money and you have a lot of money. Right. So I think that it's perfectly fine to do this. I don't think, I don't really don't think it's a bad thing. I think that you could do it. You know, if you get, 
cold feet at the very last second, or your husband's like, okay, if we're going to build this pool, then I want to go move bit premium economy at least. You maybe you should like say, okay, premium economy for him because he said yes to the pool. <laughs> This is fantastic. I'm so surprised. Thank you. Mark, do you think do you think I'm wrong? I feel like I'm being a, no, a no, wish no. granter today. I think they're okay. I'm, I'm with you. I mean, he, he doesn't want to take his foot off the gas. You're not taking it off the gas. It's just like a temporary pause. Exactly. It's more like you're tapping the brakes for a bit. That's it. Okay. That's it. Okay. And I think you guys can do it. And I don't really think it's not worth it for most people. Okay. If you really want to do something like this, that's like a home improvement, I just think you should do it. Okay. You should do it. And I'm cool with that. I really am. I just think that you guys have to be really clear that, you know what, we, we we're going to do this because we want to do this. It's a beautiful thing. Wonderful, blah, blah, blah. Right. But it, it doesn't have to be that like you make it this big uh, how we say in New York, a big Megillah. You don't have to make this the be all end. It's like, it's a thing you can do. It's a hundred grand. You got more than a million dollars. You have equity in your house. You only have one kid. I'm in, I'm doing it. I'm coming to your pool. When's the party? When can we get this thing done? <laughs> you will for sure be invited. You too, Mark. <laughs> he doesn't like health. I'm bringing my son. Yeah. Oh, Mark. Wouldn't that be nice for Theo to have a little pool? By the way, mm -hmm. what happened to Theo's pool, uh, swimming lessons? Wasn't that a bad thing as it turned well, out? I mean, he's still doing it every week. It's been almost two years, but I think we're we're nearing the end. Because I thought that this – Mark said that it was not – He it doesn't not like it. He, he, he does it reluctantly. He's not really into it. He does like – But baseball. does he know how – but wait, does he know how to swim? That I think you should know how to swim. He should know how to swim. I no? don't know. Um, if you drop me in the ocean, if you drop a man in the ocean, we would – both be dead within 30 seconds. Oh, my God. What so am I going to do with them, learner. Esther? Esther, what am I going to do with them? That's above my... Uh, your pay grade? <laughs> All right. You already solved this other. All right, Esther, do you guys have your estate documents done? Uh -oh. I knew you were going to ask that. Woo! There's a little <laughs> bit of a hesitation, Mark. You know, we had a lot of the paperwork completed, and we never got it notarized. So I will get Can on top of that. Can we do that? That's silly. Come on. Yeah. I mean, that's the easiest thing in the world to do. How about insurance? You guys have some life insurance because you got this kiddo. We do. We each have um, a policy of 500. And then I think we also have work policies. Um, I was told we should probably bump that up. But I think, you know, we just haven't. If I know what you should do is um, can you get more through work? Because sometimes work is a lot cheaper, you know. Um, you I can, can look at that when our benefits I would look at that. It starts again. I really would look at that. I would check that out. All right. I think we're done. When you get your darn things done, come on now. Come on now. We really want you to get this <laughs> done. And I think that if you get those documents done, then you can get your pool. All right. Okay. Deal. That seem real. Okay. We got it. All right. If you, like Esther and her husband, are thinking about a home renovation project and it feels a little bit, I don't know, like out of out of touch, you're out of, you're out of the, uh, you know, out of the, the grasp of the relationship and you feel like you're having a little bit of like a conflict. Let us help you. It's so easy. All you have to do is go to dillonmoney.com, click the contact us button, and we would be delighted to help you out. It's so easy. And while you're on the website, you know, all you need to do is just check out all the content, Subscribe to the free weekly newsletter. Check out our YouTube show, Jill on Money, powered by The Compound. Hey, Mark Talercio, he's the co-host, the executive producer, and king of all things web. We're distributed by Paramount Global. We drop our episodes Tuesdays and Thursdays. Do me a favor. Lift someone up. Change your work. Change your wealth. Change your life. Thank you for listening, and we'll talk to you next week. <laughs>